Hey guys, and welcome to Pirate Hunter Traffy. Today we have a mind-bending crossover that will leave you in awe. Picture this, the fearsome Akatsuki from Naruto colliding head-on with One Piece's vast and unpredictable world. Join us as we embark on a thrilling adventure delving into the what-if scenario of the century. We'll explore how the relentless Akatsuki, known for their dark powers and relentless pursuit of power, would fare in the world of devil fruits and against one of the most powerful pirate crews ever, the Whitebeard Pirates. Get ready to witness battles that defy imagination as these two iconic anime universes collide like never before. One of the most well-known groups in anime is the Akatsuki, Yahiko, Nagato, aka Pain and Conan made it because they didn't want other people to have to go through what they did. They didn't have luck on their side though. When Hanzo told Yahiko to kill himself, it was a big defeat for the group. The ninja wanted to make his dreams come true, so he moved toward the kunai that Nagato was holding. Because of this one event, the group will never be the same again. It became a safe place for bad guys who would help Obito reach his goal. Every member of the Akatsuki has strong skills that make them dangerous to every other ninja. The Akatsuki members are transported to the One Piece universe after a powerful jutsu goes wrong as they're chilling in their lair. Confused and disoriented, they soon realize that they are in a world vastly different from their own. Determined to survive and find a way back, they decide to work together and form their own pirate crew, combining their unique abilities and skills. Here's how the crew members of the Akatsuki fit into their new roles in the One Piece universe. However, the question of leadership loomed over them. It was evident that Pain, the enigmatic and powerful wielder of the Rinnegan, was the most suitable candidate to assume the role of captain. Pain's ability to master all three forms of hockey also made him the ideal choice. His observation hockey, honed through his Renegon's extraordinary vision, allowed him to foresee enemies' movements and sense their intent, ensuring the crew's safety in perilous situations. His armament hockey, derived from his immense chakra control, granted him the power to imbue his attacks with devastating force, enabling him to overcome the toughest opponents. Furthermore, his conqueror's hockey, a testament to his indomitable will, instilled awe and fear in those who crossed his path, asserting his dominance as a leader. Beyond his mastery of hockey, Nagato possessed the charisma and wisdom necessary to guide his comrades through the treacherous seas of the Grand Line. His experiences as the leader of the Akatsuki, uniting individuals with conflicting ambitions, showcased his ability to inspire loyalty and forge unwavering bonds. His unwavering resolve to establish peace aligned perfectly with the shared goal of his newly formed crew to navigate the turbulent waters of the One Piece world and find a way back home while making a world free from tyranny. Due to this, it does not take them long to gain a bounty worth 3.099 billion berries. As Payne assumed the role of captain of the Akatsuki pirate crew in the world of One Piece, he recognized Conan's unparalleled skills and qualities, leading to her selection as the captain's esteemed right hand. And despite being the co-captain, she also gains the title of Navigator and Head Cook. As they journey, she gains the power of the Paper Fruit. The Paper Paper Fruit is a non-canon Logia-type devil fruit that lets her make bits of paper, control them, and change into them at will. As the Navigator, leveraging her unique abilities and strategic mindset with her expertise in paper manipulation, Conan excels at creating detailed maps and navigation charts, making her an invaluable asset in guiding the crew through the vast and treacherous seas. She is also a great cook for the crew. She also masters all three forms of hockey, earning her a total of 1 billion berry bounty. Next up is Kisame Hoshigaki, who assumes the role of the helmsman and combat specialist in the Akatsuki pirate crew based on his exceptional abilities and unique skill set. As a former shinobi of the Mist Village, Kisame is well versed in maritime navigation and combat, making him a perfect fit for the helmsman position. 
His experience in handling water-based techniques and his shark-like abilities also give him an edge in aquatic environments. Furthermore, Kisame quickly masters all three forms of Haki, further enhancing his combat prowess. His immense chakra reserves and exceptional perception enable him to excel in observation Haki, allowing him to sense the presence of others and anticipate attacks. With his tremendous strength and proficiency in using Samehada, his sentient sword, Kisame becomes proficient in armament Haki, enhancing his offensive and defensive capabilities. And his conqueror Haki allows him to dominate his opponents. With this newfound power, Kisame becomes an indispensable asset to the crew in battle and guides their ship through the treacherous seas of the One Piece universe, earning him the title of Nagato's Left Hand Man, giving him a bounty of 1.75 billion berries. The next crew member is Itachi Uchiha, one of the most fearsome members of this entire crew. He possesses the Sharingan, a complex eye technique that grants Itachi enhanced visual perception and numerous other abilities. With the Sharingan, Itachi can see and perceive movements at a heightened level, allowing him to predict and react to his opponent's attacks with precision. And to top this, he masters all three forms of Haki and gains the power of the Susususu no Mi, the same devil fruit as Karasu. This devil fruit enables Itachi to make and manipulate suit, which is the residue left over from the incomplete burning of a substance. Essentially, this skill permits Itachi to manipulate unburned carbon particles that remain as microscopic black particles. With this power, Itachi can create crows out of this suit and then use them to do individual functions. Due to this power, Itachi receives the title Illusionist. Itachi also takes on the role of backup cook. In battles, Itachi's mastery of his devil fruit provides a powerful tool for manipulating opponents and turning the tide of war. This earns him a 2 billion berry bounty. Juzo, a skilled swordsman and former Hidden Mist Village's 7 Swordsman of the Mist member, brings his exceptional swordsmanship to the Akatsuki Pirate Crew. Known for his incredible speed and precision, Juzo wields his sword with deadly accuracy, making him one of the crew's top swordsmen. His presence adds a formidable combatant to the crew's ranks, ensuring their strength in battles against powerful adversaries, earning him a total of 1 billion berry bounty. These four make up the main commanders of the Akatsuki Pirate Crew. Then we have Orochimaru, a brilliant and unorthodox shinobi who assumes the crew's doctor and researcher role. His extensive knowledge of medicine and biology, coupled with his insatiable curiosity, drives him to explore the mysteries of the Grand Line. Orochimaru's primary focus is to uncover the secrets of the Void Century, an ancient period in One Piece history shrouded in mystery. His expertise in medical treatment and scientific research ensures the crew's well-being and provides valuable insights into their world. Next up is Toby, who becomes the crew's lookout and scout. He possesses the power of a teleportation devil fruit, allowing him to instantaneously transport himself and others across great distances. Toby's teleportation abilities make him the perfect lookout, granting him the capacity to survey vast areas quickly and relay crucial information to the crew. He too secretly trains in all three forms of hockey and masters them. And since no one in this world except for Pain and Itachi knows his true power, he is awarded an 80 million berry bounty. Deidara gains the power of the Bomb Bomb Fruit and becomes the crew's explosives expert. This devil fruit allows him to create devastating bombs. He specializes in surprise attacks and demolitions, often creating chaos in enemy ships. Due to this, Deidara is awarded a bounty of 450 million berries. With a bounty of 350 million berries, Sasori takes on the role of the crew's shipwright and puppet master. He gains the title Puppet Master after eating the Thread Thread Devil Fruit, which allows him to create almost invisible threads that attach to people and control them like puppets. 
He uses his mastery over puppets to control and manipulate the ship, making it highly versatile and capable of defending against enemies. Under Payne's guidance, Payne clones also help him out with the ship's maintenance. Hidan becomes the crew's melee fighter and sadistic zealot. His immortality and his ability to use blood-based jutsu make him a fearsome opponent in close quarters combat, earning him a total of 500 million berries in bounty. Kakuzo becomes the crew's treasurer and financial expert, but because of his love for money, he decides to go the extra mile and utilizes his unique ability to control threats to collect marine bounties and plunder from their conquests, ensuring the crew's financial stability. Due to this, the world government considers him a major threat and is awarded a total of 750 million berries in bounty. Last but not least, we have Zetsu, who becomes the crew's spy. While he may be considered the weakest in terms of combat, Zetsu compensates with his keen senses and agility. His primary role is gathering information, surveying enemy activities, and reporting to the crew. Additionally, Zetsu possesses the Door Door Fruit, a devil fruit that grants him the ability to create doors on anything he touches. This power allows him to provide strategic advantages by spying on enemy territory using his power. This earns him a 30 million berry bounty. With their roles defined and united by their desire to survive and conquer the Grand Line, the Akatsuki pirates set sail, their presence sending shockwaves throughout the world. The crew's reputation quickly spreads across the seas, drawing the attention of both rival pirate crews and the marines. As the Akatsuki pirates navigate the treacherous waters, they encounter formidable adversaries. The crew's combined strength and unique abilities allow them to overpower opponents with ease. Kisame's immense swordsmanship and affinity for water grant him an advantage in maritime battles, while Deirara's explosive creations wreak havoc on enemy ships, leaving them in ruins. Payne's strategic mind guides the crew through dangerous situations. Meanwhile, Hidan's immortality and sadistic nature strike fear into the hearts of their enemies, making him an unpredictable and terrifying presence on the battlefield. With each victory, the Akatsuki pirates grow bolder, expanding their influence and amassing wealth and resources. However, their actions also attract the attention of powerful figures in the One Piece world. Yonko and warlords alike view the Akatsuki pirates as a potential threat and set their sights on eliminating this new force in the Grand Line. As the journey continues, the Akatsuki pirates face countless challenges and make unlikely alliances along the way. Their determination and resilience in the face of adversity serve as a testament to their unwavering goal to conquer the Grand Line and uncover the secrets that lie within it. The world braces itself for the clash of these two formidable forces, as the Akatsuki pirates leave a trail of chaos and uncertainty in their wake. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support.